Charlie, thank you very much. Um, after those wonderful speeches and introductions, my wife, Annette Nazareth, says that in order to keep your attention at this hour, I must disrobe. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Roger. Uh, it's an honor to be here, uh, and clearly I would like to start to thank uh, the Committee of uh, Economic Development, the Board of Trustees, Co-Chairs, uh, and Co-Chair Don uh, Patterson and President Tra Charlie Cole. It's an honor to be here uh, on behalf of Paul Pullman, and it's an honor to be here on behalf of 167,000 uh, Unilever employees from all around the world to indeed to accept the Leadership award, award of the Committee on Economic Development. We are truly humbled. For us, for my wife and myself who just arrived, uh, as Roger just said, uh, after a tour of four continents arriving here in the US, it's impressive to see the energy and the incredible commitment also of all the American spirit to make a difference in this economic environment. And I believe is that the CED is truly part of making part of that change. At Unilever, we believe that business can and should lead both economic, environmental, and also social issues all around the world. It's part of Unilever DNA. Hundred years ago, our founder, Lord Dibohol, started not to sell soap, but actually to drive hygiene and create a better world by increasing the hygiene. 
hygiene levels all around the world. At that stage, one of the most important social aspects of the world. We are a company that makes everyday uh, consumer goods, in terms of from soap to soup, through our brands, which are most our most valued assets, in terms of Dove, Helmets, Vaseline, and other brands such as Mike Magnum and Ben & Jerry's. These brands are all sold all around the world in 180 countries, and they create a revenue of 60 billion. But more importantly, they actually touch 70% of all consumers around the world. And they touch 2 billion people every day. And because of that fact is that we touch those households every day, we believe that indeed we can make a big difference all around the world. At the end of this month, our planet will account 7 billion people, all sharing the, whole, the earth in land and resources. The majority of our population is in the developing world. Yet, in the Western Hemisphere, we are consuming at a rate of three times. We are all aware of the challenges we face, whether it is a food crisis, an energy crisis, or a water crisis. Because of the geographic span, we deal directly with the problems from food supply, poverty, and environmental degradation on a daily basis. As a business, we do not have the luxury to choose between growth and sustainability. We do both at the same time. That's why we set out our vision to double our business with less environmental impact. And actually, we sharpen that by saying we will double our business and half our environmental impact in everything that we do. This is what we call, as Roger already said, the Unity for Sustainable Living. The Unilever Sustainable Living Plan is all about spreading a better nutrition, better self-esteem, but also better environmental impact all around the world. We've created very clear goals in 2020 to make sure that we help the 1 billion people to improve their health and wellness in every day of which they live. We, we, have, we have committed to half our environmental impact, as I have already said. And we have also committed by 2020 to make sure is that 100% of all our resources which we source are indeed uh, material, agricultural, agricultural uh, raw materials which are sustainable. All these three big targets are actually underpinned with around 50 separate commitments, each quantified and each very specifically time bound. The targets are ambitious and challenging, and we certainly don't have the answers on how we do it. But we do have the understanding and the belief that we will find them as long as we commit, because that is the role of leadership. What we do requires that we work together with the three sectors, between government, between NGOs, and within business. We need to work together both within the sectors and with the sectors. America will have to work with China, Harvard with Yale, Coke with Pepsi, and WWF together with Venus. <laughs> the Sustainable Living Plan excites everyone, everyone in the UDI. That is why we are excited to work for this, for this company. That's why we are proud to be part of this business. And because of doing that, we make sure is that we touch everyday people around the world on this beautiful planet. Achieving a sustainable future will certainly take more than 10 years. We may not achieve it in our lifetimes, but we do know that we indeed can make our business. Our products are used 2 billion times all around the world, and by doubling it, we will touch 4 billion all around the world. What we also know is that it is action, not plans, that will create this difference. So all in all, Unilever, we want to we want also to congratulate all the awardees this evening that has taken action to advance business statesmanship, excellence in public policy, corporate corporate citizenship, uh, and of course the CED trustee leadership. So all in all, we are inspired and committed to see how we can make a little difference on this beautiful planet. And I want to make sure is that we are in line with Beth has told us. What we do 